Welcome everybody to Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications, where we're helping our customers build an AI-driven telecom. And I have with us Jaime Tadis. Jaime, could you please introduce yourself? Of course. Uh, my name is Jaime Tadis. I'm based in Toronto. I work for Telus. I lead the AI and data anal analytics department for the company. Well, I tell you what, AI and analytics, pretty big space. Pretty important right now. Indeed. How are you laying the foundation at TELUS in that area? Indeed, so we have laid the foundation already and we started in 2019 uh, working with you, with Google. So we have a great partnership uh, with your company. And the first thing we said to do was to modernize our data stack. So we wanted to uh, fuel our stack with the power of Google. We use uh, BigQuery, cloud logging, big table, and many different functions and features uh, that you have available. And what we did is we actually cur curated and brought all the data together across the company by breaking data silos and ensuring that we have one curated da data hub and repository that is available for everybody in the company to responsibly use and experiment and build their own workloads at a scale. What was the level of that? I mean, to create data, just breaking down the silos has been a big issue for a long time. What kind of timing? Did Yes, so the reality is that it's not a short time frame. It took us around two to three years to get to that end point, but it's really worth it because in order to scale in AI and analytics, it's very hard to do it if you don't have a very good foundation that actually allows all the different teams to scale. And we all always believe in a federated model, so we decentralize it and we actually empower all the different teams across the company to have ways to experiment, productionize their own workloads, and be able to advance much quicker on the way that they want to get to their outcomes. Uh, so making federating that and getting the crowd to your people is a, I think a huge strength of TELUS and you have to be really proud of that. When we think of that data, what was the cleansing process like over so many years of legacy Indeed, that had to be some, some task? So there's a joke that we have internally. Uh, we used to have a big data lake on-prem, uh, hundreds and hundreds of hard drives and servers. And the joke internally, our CEO used to call it a data swamp uh, instead of the data lake. So one of the things that we said is we didn't do a lift and shift, but we modernized the whole entire stack. So we rebuilt the pipelines. And when we were doing that, we ended deleting 30, 35% of all the data that was not curated, was obsolete, was stale, didn't have a clear owner. So not only gives you more agility when you actually do that modernization of your data stack, but you actually ensure that there's more reliable data sources that actually the team can make their decisions that are going to fuel the different outcomes that they want to achieve. That's a great storyline, a great investment, and it sounds like you're poised and ready to have use cases. And what are you seeing now from an acceleration of AI and Gen AI use cases? Indeed, so now that we did that foundation work, it has allowed us to really go quicker at the way that actually we do AI and Gen AI at a scale. On the AI side, we've been doing AI for eight years. But the reality is, before the cloud and before all this, it was sitting in many uh, Jupyter notebooks, people laptops, that's not the way you really manage AI at a scale. So we use Vertex AI from Google, and we have an MLOps structure that we use at large. And actually, we have now enterprise-grade AI models that are actually ro running in this well-curated standard that allow us to always understand right away if a model starts to shift, how we can have, have a training sequence that actually can make the model good again, and it's all this ability to have at enterprise grade level, level models that allow us to actually scale responsibly and knowing that it's going to be reli reliable. Instead of having a Jupyter notebook that you have to check every three months to see if the model is still working well or not. Well, I, you just mentioned something too that's uh, responsibly. So how do you make it responsible at TELUS? What kind of, I guess, uh, systems are you putting in or, or uh, structure do you have to ensure it's being deployed responsibly. Indeed, so we have a very good governance across Telus, and we're very proud that we have been leading on the telco domain on the responsible AI front. And also we were the first company in the world to get awarded an ISO privacy by design certification just a few months ago that we're extremely proud of it. Um, for, for our values, it's very important that the only way we actually can get a lot of uh, transformation from the data side is we need to do it responsibly, and we need to ensure that we're trusted. And one of the things that we have as the telco is we've been trusted for so many years. And for us, it's very close to our heart and to our core value to ensure that we maintain that trust from the different customers that we serve. Yeah, I think trust uh, becomes a key in, in with your customers and partnerships. And I know we built up trust over time. Indeed. And you mentioned how we've started a, a while ago. 
How do you view that Google relationship and, and what are some of the values that are coming out of that? Has been a good partnership. Uh, what we really like of it is uh, we have a very open way that we communicate. We can co-innovate. Uh, we have very good feedback that we give to each other. So we learn a lot from Google. We actually uh, also help Google in certain terms on actually they can go more into the operational things that we see and actually get them a view on what tools, what futures, what things can evolve to actually get us to where we need to be. And in the field that we are, that is AI and technology, it evolves so quickly. So every now three, four, five months, you see these big news releases. Even for Gemini that we've been using, the context window size that actually has is, is, is super crazy. It went from thousands to millions now. Two million and tokens. That's insane. And that ev evolution keeps on going. So every time that we learn this now at a higher scale and shorter time, we actually are in a very close collaboration. So we actually can foresee what is going to happen and be prepared to manage it and be able to get the best value from it. Well, I tell you what, we certainly value the partnership and are amazed at how you guys have laid the foundation and are taking steps responsibly and creating those use cases to drive value out to your customers as well. So thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. And that's it for now for Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications.